Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £250 worth of 50ps to have a hunt through. Looking for the commemorative ones, the ones more than face value. But ideally, we want something new for the book. We've got plenty of opportunity at the moment because this is uh, a restart of a book. Uh, book two, we got everything Bar Q Gardens had a, ma a massive hunt at the end of that and then decided to start a new book. Uh, then it'd be interesting to note whether we're going to fill this book up before we find another Q Garden. So I found no Q Gardens in 2019. 2020 could be my year. Uh, so what are we missing? Well, we're missing suffragettes. We're missing a fair few Olympics. Football being the one that we really want to pin down as soon as we can. Uh, we have got an Olympic wrestling. Holy Toledo, can you believe it? We are not going to be stuck on Olympic wrestling for the first time in the 50p YouTube books. Because uh, that's been the one coin I've been stuck on twice in a row now. Um, but... Anyway, roll, rolling over, uh, we've still got some of the more modern ones missing, Jemima Puddleduck, Flopsy Bunny, and the elusive Brexit coin, which I have found on a, I have found on a live stream a, quite a few weeks ago now, uh, but hopefully we'll be able to pin that one down as well. Uh, before we get into the books though, we will, into the bags even, not the books, have a look at these Change Checker trading cards. So uh, Rachel from Change Checker very kindly sent me these. Uh, well, there is an idea for a video in these at some point, but I've just been copying what Coins Do Collect started doing, so I really like the idea, and just scratching one off at the start of each 50p video. So, what am I going to use today? Well, the only thing I've got to hand is this, which I think was sent into the PO box. It's a, um, a token of some description. Now we had some great luck on the live stream, so someone, uh, uh, it was Michael and Sasha, uh, very kindly sent in four change checker trading cards to the peer box. And I scratched two on the on the um, I scratched two of them on the peer box video. Scratched the other two on the um, live stream that I was doing. And look what I got! Holy Toledo, can you believe it? I got myself a Q Gardens one. So imagine getting if we can get another one. How amazing would that be? So let's get into it. Uh, I see what it is. Benjamin Britten. It's a neat one. It's a neat one. It's over. It's a coin that's over face value, so I won't moan at that. 5.3 million minted. Wow. But no, these um, trading cards, they're a bit of fun. Uh, you get them by ordering items from Change Checker. And there's a chance that they will pop a trading card in the, in your post and your delivery. But there we go. Benjamin Breton. Uh, the 50p design has been issued to commemorate the centenary of Benjamin Britten's birth in 1913. Pretty cool. Not my favourite design, but it's a cool it's a cool trading card to to add in. So I'm going to pop that in the in the doodah. There we go. Well, we're doing quite well on them. We'll return to them on the next 50p video. But without further ado, let's get into these bags. So I'll, I'll, I will I'll put my teeth back in and try that one again. So I will open the first bag in real time and I'll show you what I'm looking for. That is Britannia. I keep the Britannias and the Shields separate because on Britannias, I look for the year 2008, which is a low minted year. Shields, like this is going to be. I look for the years 2009, 10, 11, 16, and 18, which were not intended for circulation. But also the year 2017 is a low minted year as well. And who knows about 2020, what's going on with that. Our first find is a 2016 Peter Rabbit, which is a nice find. The whole 2016 set with the exception of Tiggy Winkle is over face value and it's been announced and released. Uh, the very last Beatrix Potter 50p. So, uh, again, I might already have had that video up by the time this video goes up, uh, as, as is the nature of the way I record a couple of weeks in advance. Um, but, yeah, it's, that's been brought to an end, hasn't it? Um, I'm not quite sure how I feel about that, because I quite enjoy big sets, and the, piece of the Beatrix Potter set was getting rather large. Um, but I guess it makes room for more different coins to come out. Although there was, there were other dies for the coins released uh, that were going to be released in 2019, which weren't actually uh, released. So I wonder what's going to happen about all of those. It's a bit of a mystery because I know people that went on the 
VIP tours of the of the Royal, at the Royal Mint experience got to see the dies. So maybe they're just not going to happen. Maybe that that'll be a part of the, an exhibit at some point at the Royal Mint. But I'm rambling now. Without further ado, we will speed up until I find anything. There's a representation of the People Act. That's a common design to find. And speaking of common, Benjamin Bunny. So Benjamin Bunnies, we've got counters tracking them. Uh, we've got counters for Benjamin Bunny, Isaac Newton, Christopher Ironside, and the combined Olympics. Uh, equally, I do also have uh, counters that have carried over from the last book for the 2019s until we get the mintage figures. I'm going to carry those on as they are. We've got public libraries there. That is a common design to find. And we've got dictionary. Another very common one to find. Ooh, there we go. We got the Brexit one. <laughs> Personally, I think it's a bit of a boring design. But finding a new coin is very, very exciting. Should we have a thumbnail? Mm. I don't want to. I don't want to be. I don't want a spoiler of a thumbnail. If we find another one in, in the next video, I think I will. But the first one, um, I'm sure you'll all appreciate in the comments if I keep this one under wraps. But that is my first Brexit 50p found in the standard YouTube videos. My second one that I found myself because obviously I found one on the live streams. Is that O on the two on the on the twenty twenty? That second O looks a bit melted, a bit Dali and Dali inspired. It must be. I think it's the angle I'm looking at it. There we go. See, that looks fine, doesn't it? But put it in a little angle. It looks a bit melted, bizarro. But there we go. We've got a new one for the book. What a corker! And I guess we need a Brexit counter, don't we as well? So. Hang about. We've got something here. Gibraltar in 2006. I found a lot of coins from Gibraltar recently. Lord only knows what's going on with them. It's for so many of them to rock, to turn up in my bags. But I won't complain because I love finding territories coins. It is. Is it the capture of Gibraltar? Very cool. The territories ones tend to go for over face value. Because we're not really supposed to find them in our change in the mainland UK. In 2017 that would be something as well. Just a Benjamin Bunny. There we go, popping down with the other one. Well, oh, there's a dictionary. God, this is a busy bag, isn't it? There's a 2018. That'd be something. People act. Not the one we want for 2018, but it's a cool design. Ooh, ooh, it's an Olympic. 
Again, it's not the nicest condition. Let's hope there's not the start of another run of finding those really grotty coins. We found some really nasty 50p's um, a few months ago. But I won't grumble at finding Olympic, even if it isn't the nicest condition. Holy Toledo. We got a Paddington. God, we went a while without finding something there, didn't we? Paddington at the station is my favourite Paddington. Lovely, lovely design. Quite how many more Paddingtons we're going to get is all up in the air with the Beatrix Potters now coming to an end. We've got public libraries. And another public libraries. Twenty seventeen is Peter Rabbit. We're not getting many twenty seventeens today to be fair. We normally we find them by the bucket load. There's another Brexit. Jeez. Uh, is this gonna <laughs> is this gonna be the start of an onslaught of Brexit coins? Who knows? But very cool to find it. There's Paddington at the Palace. We've got both of those uh, twenty eighteen Paddingtons. No twenty nineteens yet today though. Hang on, just before I flip that, I noticed it looks a bit odd. We've got another Gibraltarian one. That's a very odd obverse. I don't recognise that at all. 1999. Couldn't even tell you what that's going to be. Not a clue. Oh, it's the dolphins. <gasps> I've never found one of these on a video. I've got one in my change in the past. But I've never found one in a hunt. What an exceptional find. I think we got our thumbnail there. How lovely is that? Well, I've never found Brexit. I've never found the dolphins. That's two awesome finds. Well, two new finds that I've not had on the channel before. What a stunner. Oh, I see another Brexit. Uh oh. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ooh, there's a nice one. Beatrix Potter, the anniversary. Lovely, lovely stuff. You got a dictionary there? Did you not think? Wait, where are you going? There's a bit of a a theme here. Ooh, Battle of Britain. So Battle of Britain. 
and Battle of Britain alone on the 50ps you can find two initials, two different sets of initials on the obverse at the side of the Queen's head. Just under her neck is the initials of the designer of the Queen's portrait. Now JC stands for Jodie Clark. Um, the Jodie Clark um, designer of the Queen's portrait went into circulation whereas IRB, Ian Rank Broadley's design just went into collector's sets. So the IRB Battle of Britain is an IFC. I've never found one in the hunt but here's to hoping. No, just a JC. The hunt for that IRB Battle of Britain continues. We've got Victoria Cross, heroic act. Very common one. And there's Benjamin Bunny, speaking of things being common. On 2017. Oh, it's a shield. That's a keeper. And another victory across the heroic axe. Gosh, busy bag, isn't it? What? This bag is amazing. <laughs> Olympic hockey. Wowee, two Olympics. Let's see, any hunt you find an Olympic is a success. Two is pretty extraordinary. Any more than two is positively mind-bending. But here's to hoping. We've still got plenty of bags to get through. Oh, we've got another chance for that IRB Battle of Britain. Cross your fingers. Nope. Another JC. One of these days. One of these days. We got Mrs. Tiki Winkle. Oh, we're having a good run on the 2016s, aren't we? We're just missing what Squirrel Nutkin and Jemima. Ah oh dear, there's got to be another one, right? There we go. <laughs> Four and one hunt, and Paddington at the palace. Very cool. Oh, Victoria Cross, heroic act again. Oh, it was something. <laughs> I thought it said 2020, but it's 2019. It's a Sherlock Holmes. Cool design, very intricate. Quite how long these this fine print's going to last in circulation before it's battered and bruised. Obviously the rim around the edge does protect the uh, design somewhat. Oops, what just jumped out there? It looks like a commemorative. Just a Roger Bannister. Again, a fairly common one to come across. Benjamin Bunny. Oh, we've got Commonwealth Games there. Again, a common one to find.
Oh, there's another nice one. Taylor Gloucester, first 2018 Beatrix Potter for this video. Amazing stuff. Another Victoria Cross Heroic Axe. God, we've got tons of them today, haven't we? And Team GB. Now, the big question is, is Team GB coming out this year now? Because obviously we've had the annual set with it in it. So, I guess more to follow in the... More to follow. Well, all of a sudden, we're on to the last bag. Holy Toledo, what hunt we've had. A couple of Olympics, a bunch of Brexits, my first Brexits on the videos. Amazing stuff. But for those of you that watch this far into the video, you might be interested to know that I've got a Discord server. You can click the link down in the description to come and join. Uh, you do have to be over the age of 13 to be on Discord though. That's their rules, not my rules. Um, alternatively, you can catch me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Uh, and there's also the peer box you can write into as well. There's 2017 there. That's a shield. Lovely stuff. But that looks like that's the lot from the bags. What I'm going to do now is have a look at the coins off to the side to see what key dates we found. Well, some luck. I got myself a 2008 Britannia. In addition to that, a 2017 Shield. Lovely, lovely stuff. But most important of all, we got new coins in the book. So that grotty fencing has gone in, filling up this page quite nicely. So it's the one in the middle of the bottom down there. Plus Olympic hockey for this page. And we are now completed the Brexit one as well, which is very, very nice. So star pull, I think I'm going to go with the um, Dolphin Gibraltar one. Gibraltarian Dolphins, that is an absolute stunner. Well, as ever, all that leaves me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.